YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> All right, we're gonna talk about today about uh, family issues. There are a lot of uh, uh, family arguments and keep increasing and fitna keep increasing. I'm gonna ask Sheikh uh, Imam Yahya here a few questions, how the best way to uh, keep the family united and uh, keep moving forward. Yes, Sheikh. Yes, uh, Assalamu Alaikum. I think the best way that there are a few things one has to do. In, uh, number one, uh, the engagement of spouses, the wives of the brothers or the husbands of the sisters can play a good role or a, or a, or a negative role. They can uh, often divide with rumors and hatred and jealousy, but could, they could also uh, unite if they really care about the whole family. So I would say number one, engage your spouse. Number two, make sure that your spouse is on board with that work. Number two, you have to know that unity is a must and is a good thing. It's a positive thing. And being alone is not good. At the end of the day, you need your brother, you need your sister, you need each other, you need your cousins and aunts and uncles. You may not realize it now, but something will happen in your life and you would need them to stand with you when there is someone dying or when there is wedding or when there is financial need or moral need or we all need that we all need that number three a very regular activities you have to have activities uh, that bring people together food uh, is important uh, potluck the idea of a potluck where people bring their food and meet somewhere i would also say engage the kids when the kids love each other uh, and they are in touch with each other that forces the parents to come forward and be present as well. Also then, the, I really believe in the power of dua and the power of prayers. When you make dua, when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a blessing, for unity, Allah doesn't respond. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ وَجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانَ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبْ وَلِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُ بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشِدُونَ Allah says, when my ibad ask you concerning me, say to them, I am very close, I do respond to those who call upon me. And therefore in the power of dua, say, Ya Allah, unite between our family. Ya Allah, bring our hearts together. And when you do it, do it with faith and certainty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer you. And I think Allah will answer, I believe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer you. Uh, uh, the, the other thing is, uh, doing projects together, not in business, sometimes business divides, but projects like imagine if uh, twice a year, three times a year, all the members of that family were to plan to do a community service together, to go on a camp together for the weekend, or to travel together for something. Those kinds of activities do unite between people and they bring them together. The last one, one has to be, uh, one has to be honest. We have to master the art of talking, but also the art of listening. When someone is not present, it's not because they are jealous sometimes, but rather because maybe someone does not care about their needs. And therefore everyone in that family has to know and feel that their Wait, needs are met, the that their needs are met and that people care for them. Those are the things I think one has to do. Hi, right, Sheikh. Mashallah, very good. Uh, may Allah uh, bless our families, bless us, and uh, keep us uh, stay united and uh, stay united as a one ummah, one nation. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.